A World War II veteran processes the devastation he's witnessed from the confines of an intergalactic zoo. As an estranged parent and child meet at a fraught family reunion, a little girl mumbles, how do you do, from behind a dirty curtain. After the death of his best friend, a lonely king travels to the end of the world in search for answers and walks into a bar. It may seem counterintuitive, but comedy is often key to a serious story. As a writer, you need your audience to experience a range of emotions, no matter what your genre is. Whether you want to evoke uh, fear, grief, or excitement, when people are exposed to just one emotion for too long, they just become desensitized to it. Comic relief is a tried and a true way of creating the very uh, emotional texture a compelling story needs. So how can you create this effect in your own stories? So whether you use characters, situations, language or any combination of the, of the three, timing and contrast are extremely crucial. Take the epic of Gilgamesh. This ancient Mesopotamian tale is possibly the oldest known work of literature and yet the story remains compelling today. As King Gilgamesh approaches the end of the world, he walks into a bar. He, we think we are reaching the climax of the story only to have our expectations subverted. That brief respite allows the tension to build even higher to a later and truer climax. It both relieves and creates tension. This le lesson also applies to modern stories. By briefly lightening the mood, you can build tension in your stories exactly when it's needed. The moment at, at the bar just doesn't amplify the aud audience's emotional re re response, it also complicates it. The wise bartender questions the purpose of Gilgamesh's uh, quests, setting the stage for the final and more nuanced resolution. You can use a comic relief not only to create contrast with graver moments, but to comment on them. Sidekicks are one of the most common and direct ways to do this. They can supply sneakily perspective commentary on the main action, often while simultaneously serving as blundering and uh, hapless punchlines. Arundhati Roy's The God of Small Things takes yet another approach to comic relief. The narrative style draws upon the perspective of children to infuse a tragic story with poignant humor. When the adults funnel decades of tension over race, class, and family dynamics into their expectation for their children's behavior, you can't help but chuckle with recognition when at the, when at the moment she's expected to put on a performance of politeness. So, to make the most of comic relief, think not only about what moment in your story would most benefit from a splash of contrasting emotion, but at the same time, what message you'd like to convey that you can't say directly. Which of your reader's assumptions you would like to call into question?